assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to ten film technology course uh, lecture number first i'm dr farwaz ahmed uh, in this uh, this lectures uh, we will have just a brief introductions of the ten film uh, technology so let's start our, our discussions uh, of the first lecture so uh, first we will discuss about uh, the course objective, the, what is the course objective? Uh, so uh, this course, uh, I mean the, the 10 film technology course, uh, it will provide uh, a 10 film deposition methods, uh, their possibilities and uh, limitations. I mean, these, uh, these are the points uh, that will cover the, the course objectives. In addition, uh, in this particular course, uh, we will have hands-on demonstrations and experiments in our laboratories. I mean, all of you know that it's just a practical course. I mean, it's experimental work. So what we have to do, each of you uh, uh, will try your will, will best to hand on demonstrations and experiments uh, in our laboratories uh, that will help the participant to better understand uh, the possibilities of each uh, diffusion methods and uh, stimulate informal discussions between the uh, part uh, participant and the uh, expert. In addition, uh, we will have some essentials, uh, fundamental aspects, as well as the technology of the 10 film growth from uh, vapor phase to evaporation, uh, physical vapor deposition and chemical vapor deposition, etc. So, uh, what all these techniques will do? It will help us to learn how to test and characterize film structures and related properties after hard uh, depositions. So for all this to happen, I mean, uh, uh, you will be interested to learn more and more about the course. So for that, you, uh, you have to consult the book. Uh, just below here, uh, we have some uh, recommended book for all of you. Here you can see that. And number first, and the recommended book, we have Thin Film uh, Phenomena by Kale Chopra. So you can study, you can consult this book. It has a lot of good information about the thin film, uh, thin film technology course. Uh, number two, we have book Hands of Thin Film Technology. Uh, this is also a good book. Uh, you can also consult and you can also take him from this book. Uh, at number third, we have Thin Film uh, Frosties, uh, edited by Jell uh, uh, Watson in uh, WKN Academic Press. Uh, uh, and, and along with that, we have book Thin Film Fundamentals, um, and it's also a good book. I mean, you can also consult this. All of these books, they are well available on the uh, Google Scholar. Uh, similarly, we have a book, The Material Science of Thin Film. It's also a very good book. It has almost uh, all the material that we will cover uh, during this particular course. And uh, with this, you can also consult a book uh, that is uh, with the title, Deposition Technologies for thin films and coatings by Peter M. Martins. So all these books, uh, uh, I mean, there's something like, uh, I mean, the equipment for understanding the, the full concept and thin film technology. So if you have any of these books, uh, so I'm sure that it will cover uh, the materials. It, it has the materials that are necessary for understanding the main concept that we will discuss uh, during this particular course. So in this particular course, we will uh, our main focus will be on the uh, the technology. Uh, so uh, you know that uh, thin film uh, thin film technology is pervasive and many applications. I mean, uh, as I mentioned uh, on the previous slide, it's a practical course. I mean, uh, you have to do you have to perform the experiments, and after the experiments, uh, when you have thin film. So uh, after that, we will try our best. Uh, I mean, so it's included in the course that uh, your scientists or uh, your prepared uh, thin film. Uh, you have to utilize that for uh, any particular application of your interest. So uh, there are many applications in which we can utilize uh, the thin film, and these include microelectronics, optics, magnetics, uh, hard resistance. Uh, coatings, uh, micro machine, etc. I mean, these are the particular field in which uh, we can apply it. Uh, uh, the thin film or synthesize uh, thin film, we can apply it for uh, application in these particular fields. Uh, so, uh, progress in each of these areas depend upon the ability to selectively and controllably deposit uh, thin film. I mean, whenever we, you are trying to uh, apply. Uh, 
uh, your thin film, your sinus size thin film for uh, particular application. So be remember uh, that it depends upon uh, the selectivity and, and uh, controllably uh, deposition methods uh, where which you have deposited uh, uh, your thin film. So be remember that deposition technique is very important, uh, especially uh, uh, when you have particular application in your minds. And be remember that uh, th uh, the thickness of a thin film is ranged from tens of angstrom to a uh, micrometer. So uh, you should be specific. I mean, uh, you should specify your your physical properties. I mean, so whenever you're trying to uh, deposit a thin film, so first of all, uh, you should specify the applications. I mean, uh, the particular application you should have in your mind that for what uh, what purpose you are trying to uh, synthesize. Uh, your thin film. So with that respect you have to specify the physical properties of uh, your thin film. Uh, in addition it requires controls uh, often at the uh, atomic levels uh, of thin film microstructures and uh, microchemistry. So there, uh, there are a vast number of deposition methods available and in use today. So what are these deposition methods? Uh, I mean uh, in coming course we will discuss about all these deposition techniques which are being uh, frequently utilized by scientists around the globe uh, for the deposition of thin film. So all the methods have their specific limitations and involves uh, compromises with respect to uh, process uh, specific. I mean so we will apply the particular uh, methods. Uh, along with that we will also mention that this particular method has uh, this kind of limitation, this kind of advantages. So uh, there is not a complete, uh, I mean it's a complete procedure, a complete method which we can say that it's, uh, it's been free from all kind of disadvantages. So that's why sometimes we will have to utilize two techniques or three techniques and additions and other to overcome the limitation of one techniques uh, and the uh, next techniques. So uh, we have to utilize the substrate materials and you know that substrate material has limitations, uh, ex uh, expected film properties and cost. So this makes it difficult to select the best technique for any specific uh, applications. Uh, in order to further go into this course, first of all uh, we should have a brief introduction and overview of the thin film. That is mostly the people ask the questions, uh, what is a thin film? I mean that is when you come to the course, uh, you are studying the course, or you are attending a lecture. So the people have a question in mind, what is a thin film? So let we have uh, some specific definitions for a thin film. So we start from the thin and we say that thin, how much thin? Uh, we describe that less than about one micron. I mean the film should be thin, how much thin it should be? Uh, it should have a thickness uh, about one micron. So how much is one micron? One micron is equal to uh, 10,000 angstrom which in turn is equal to 1000 nanometers. So this is the, I mean uh, we are specifying the thickness of the thin film. That is, uh, if somebody asks you what is the thin film, what is the thickness of thin film, so you have to answer that it's, uh, it has a size, it has a thickness uh, about 1 micron or 10,000 angstrom or 1000 uh, nanometers. And it should be a layer of material on a substrate. So what if we say that, uh, uh, I mean how we fully define uh, the thin film, so we define a thin film that it is a layer of materials uh, deposited on its substrate with a thickness equal to uh, 1 micron or 10,000 angstroms or 1,000 nanometers. But be remember the layers of materials should be deposited on a substrate. I mean substrate is very essential for, uh, for the thin film. If uh, let's suppose someone said that uh, he don't utilize the substrate and he don't have a substrate. So if there is no substrate, so then you cannot call it as a thin film. Uh, then it might be a foil. So that's why we are saying that for thin film deposition, substrate is an essential form. So let me repeat it again, uh, the formal definition of thin film. Thin film is a layer of material and a substrate uh, with a thickness uh, equal to uh, 1 micron 
uh, equal or less than one micron, uh, 10,000 angstrom or 100, uh, uh, 1,000, 1,000 nanometers. And again, uh, substrate is very important. I mean, substrate is an essential form of the thin film. If no substrate is involved, so then you cannot call it as a thin film, then it is a file. So after describing uh, the formal definitions, uh, let's have a look uh, at some of the special properties of the thin film. So what are the special properties of a thin film? Uh, you all know that uh, uh, thin film is different from the bulk materials. Uh, so it may be not fully dense uh, under stress. I mean, uh, you, we may have uh, uh, a thin film uh, uh, along with that. We, we can find so many stresses. And uh, it can have the defect just like we have any kind of matters, uh, I mean, bulk materials. So uh, uh, it may be different. Uh, the defect that we find here in the thin film, uh, it will be, uh, I mean, uh, different kind of defect structures uh, that we found uh, normally in the bulk materials. Uh, and we remember that it's strongly influenced by the surface and uh, interference effect. Since we are deposing on a substrate and we are saying that it's layer materials, so that's why we are saying that uh, it's strongly uh, influenced by uh, surface and uh, interference, uh, uh, surface and interference, uh, interference effect. So what will happen with this? Uh, are, what, is, what is the meaning of all these uh, properties? It means that uh, it will change the electrical, magnetic, optical, thermal, and mechanical properties. I mean, so we have all these properties for the thin film. So as a result of all these properties, uh, it will change the electrical, magnetic, and optical, thermal, and uh, mechanical properties of uh, our materials. So what are the specific applications uh, where uh, we can apply or where we can utilize uh, thin film of different materials? So we can utilize uh, the deposited thin film in the field of microelectronics uh, as electrical conductors, electrical barriers, uh, diffusion uh, barriers. Similarly, we can uh, utilize the deposed thin film and magnetic sensor to sense uh, different elements like iodine, boron, or changes in them. Uh, we can utilize it as a gas uh, sensors. Uh, similarly, uh, we can utilize it as a tailor materials. Uh, that is, uh, uh, the layers very thin film to develop material with the new properties. Uh, similarly, we can utilize it as an optics, I mean, in the field of optics as uh, anti-reflection coating. I mean, we can utilize thin film as uh, anti-reflection materials uh, in the field of optics. And there we can deposit it there as a, uh, uh, there we can utilize it as a coating materials. Uh, similarly, uh, I mean, uh, we can utilize this uh, as a protection materials and uh, uh, corrigents. Uh, so uh, thin film can be utilized uh, as a corrigent protection uh, materials. Uh, and along with that, it can be utilized uh, wear resistance, etc. I mean, there are so many applications of the uh, defrosted thin film. I mean, uh, that we cannot cover all in this single lectures. So as long as we proceed in this course, uh, we will learn more and more about thin films, their deposition techniques, and along with that, uh, we will deal with the uh, applications of the thin film. So that's all we have for the lecture number first. Uh, see you with the more details in the coming lectures. So till then, bye-bye.